So here's something that happened on uh, the 14th, so I, I think that was Sunday, where we had an X 4.5 flare, and this and uh, this this is not an animation. This is the real sun. Uh, it's showing the flare occurring. So can you yeah, tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. So this is this is actually some data that I put together. Actually, there's a, there are tools which we will go over sometime. You can do this yourself. But what we're looking at here is data from the Solar Dynamics Observatory or SDO. This is extreme ultraviolet one of my favorite wavelengths. And what you're seeing, you see that bright flash, okay? That's the flare. Flares are basically very intense, relatively short on the scale of maybe minutes, sometimes hours of light over the whole spectrum. Light we can see, light we can't, like X-rays or also radio waves. But then you also will notice off to the left, there's this bright structure that comes out. And what that is, is we've talked often about filaments. Filaments are these pieces of solar material that are strung across the sun. Sometimes those filaments will be across a sunspot region. And so when that happens, you can have a flare that then causes that filament to be basically set free. And that filament very quickly and violently flies off the sun. And that's what you're seeing here. And that filament, I once it, it leaves the sun, yeah, you can see it coming off. And once it leaves the sun, we then call it a coronal mass ejection. So it's mass stuff, sun stuff, that has been ejected from the sun. And those coronal mass ejections, or of course, we all use these, uh, these acronyms, CMEs, these CMEs are what cause the geomagnetic storms at Earth that give us the aurora, but that it can also impact our communications. 